Okay, let's go episode eight or nine, I think. Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! I wonder what happened with Emily there, so... There was a guy with a flamethrower. What was he done here for, and what was he burning? Revelation. Okay, so we finally get to see if Jess dies or not. I'm actually just going to put the controller on my lap if I need to keep it still. She didn't die. What is she doing? I don't know. Well, he didn't kill me. And she said, use these. What are these? I don't know. She just does not die, does she? That'll do. Let's go, Em. Let's go. Let's see if you can do it. Huh. Oh, I see something. A clue in the corner. Blackwood Mines. This is an area of structural collapse. So we can go there, or we can go here. Which has a Calgary postcard. Hey Billy, I had a great time. Something, something. Kind of don't know what was being said there, but apparently something was. Um, what did it say? Billy was part of the crew that blasted new tunnels deep in the mines. Billy Bates blasting crew. Okay, let's go. This is the only way we have. <sighs> What's those weird noise? What's that weird noise? It looks like there's one way to go. Wow. This place got pretty beat up. Got pretty beat up. Okay. Okay, this I don't know if I, 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 I should have done that or not. Fuck! 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 What are they? What are they? Ah, uh, I don't know. Fuck! It's like Smeagol's long lost cousin. Doesn't work. What the hell are they?
What does it mean? I probably should keep my hand still as well, because... Oh gosh. Last time the PS controller fucking messed me up, man. I didn't, I swore I didn't move it last time. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Don't know if that was the right choice, but... Okay. Oh, that is so sick. I'm actually doing that. The adrenaline rush you'd get. Hold on tight. Okay, maybe not. My back. Ow. Alex, Alex, you don't need to be so so uh, strict. I'm I'm not reading the chat for the most part when it comes to really really close scenes like this. Oh my gosh, I'm suffering big time from sweaty hand syndrome. It's not good. I thought I was gonna die there. The worst part is like uh, I feel like I'm not moving my controller yet. It's saying that I am Okay, Emily's back. Crap. What now? Are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Okay? You look totally lost. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out Did there. You guys a monster is involved. Wait. Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. M, M, you could relax. Josh was messing with us. You're not listening to me. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found oh it. Oh my god. What the are fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and, and I heard someone come in. Someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, never. There was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. Uh oh. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good.
Well, we have a gun. It's the flamethrower, dude. Already, whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Nah, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> It is his mountain, right? The mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. It is his oh, mountain, guys, right? Now, I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You're going alone. It's suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, this guy seems like a badass. Yeah. Like I just a mysterious badass. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. I get a gun. Point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. <laughs> he kind of looks like a badass Chum Lee, you know. Come back safe. He gets a kiss. We need to hurry, son. I, uh, see you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Here we go. So, what was the butterfly effect that updated? I want to check. Emily was bitten. Was she? Did I actually see her getting bit? Oh, she was. I remember that. I 
wonder if that means. I wonder if it means she's gonna like. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. But how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. Their skin is like. It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Gross. Does sound a bit gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable or. I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Maybe there's some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. You mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. They only hunt at night. Oh boy, we got something coming up. Let's see if Josh is still alive. Josh, where are you? Oh, he's gone. He's definitely gone. Let's go. <gasps> Wait. Don't move. Be very quiet. <gasps> no, no, I didn't move. That's fucking bullshit. Run. Go. Now. Now. Oh. Back. God damn. I'm not right out below. Gotta get out of here. Oh my god, my god, my god, my god. What the fuck? Oh shit. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, what the hell? That was crazy. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. Chris, don't die on me here, brother. You broke your leg, but you're good. Open the door, open the door! Man, what the hell? Poor guy. Oh, that's Matt. That looks like Matt. Oh my god, guys, thank god. It took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh. He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it. 
I tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Put the controller Josh, on the desk when there's cutscenes. Probably a good Mr. idea. Tricks. Great, great. I will do that. It's a good idea. Thing, got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. Let's put my hands up like that. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and huh? Em, what? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> and now he's what? dead. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? You've been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these mines. Yeah, I can't like put that. it on my desk. I have to hold it. God. Vibration will turn Some it off. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird. Emily is just so That's like, crazy shit's so What's complaining all the time. From the lodge Doesn't make sense, does it? See? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um. What is? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh bit you, what bit you? The, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really, it's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really, it's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you... You could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these Sam, guys the voice of reason. I don't want to say it again. Ooh. Guys, what are you doing? The door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no. You're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Wow, imagine like your friends. Whoa, okay, whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, Em. Please. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do that! I'm really sorry. I'm not doing it. As much as I hate her. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. 
okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Nobody leave. It's not safe out there. Proceeds to leave. Classic Mike. Like the way they're all ignoring M right now. Is a flamethrower, dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, but it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Cannibalism. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human this is desperate and see. craves food. Okay, I didn't even get to see it. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. The Wendigo must be contained. Uh, craves food, trapped on the mountain. I've seen this happen. Craving for flesh cannot be see it, stated. And then change beans. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. And then the teeth become longer, like fangs. Death toll rises. Every animal becomes sacred. Wow. Stillness. Total stillness. Try not to kill them. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. There may be defenses. Shamans, root of rituals, I found need of other... Blah, blah, uh... Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh. So we saved Emily. Oh, no, 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 what? No, no. What is it? What does it say? It says that the bites. If it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None no, of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for Emily, this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the punk. Let's see what happened there. I actually don't know if that was probably the right choice. Telling the truth is always a good idea, but I don't know. Oh like, she should be happy. Bitch. Fuck. Let him in. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like now. Why? Why? Sure was, oh, wow. Uh, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's I don't think you can see individual relationship pages, can you? No. He still has a strong bond with Chris and Sam. Okay. Or possibly allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Per Josh. Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. Now it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. has gone terribly wrong. 
And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Mm. Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. I didn't physically hurt though, I guess I punched them. I'll be apologetic. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from. Something even worse than death itself. What a great therapist. Well, that's gonna do it there. You know, I think we're going on to episode 9, which is close to the end. There's 10 episodes, so I'm gonna try and get them done uh, an episode each, as I've always done. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!